All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my very last midterm update video. I can't believe we're getting so close to the end of my time in college and graduation. Uh, time's recording, graduation is a month and a half away, and I'm very excited about all that. Obviously very nervous, but we'll get into that later, uh, but mostly excited. So without further ado, let's get into the grades. So for this midterm, this semester, I got an A, a B, C, and brace yourselves, a D. I know, I know, a D, what the hell, Andy? Well, the reason behind that is I went to go check up on it after uh, the grades posted, and apparently one of my assignments from early in the semester wasn't submitted for grading. There's some kind of tech issue going on early in the semester, and I didn't check it afterwards to make sure it was submitted. I just, you know, did my thing and it just kind of went, but I guess it didn't submit properly. So it got graded as a zero and I didn't realize it until after grades posted. So I talked with uh, my professor and he's going to let me uh, redo it. So that D is only temporary. So once I get that assignment all squared away, I'm looking at getting a either a B or a BC at worst. So don't worry. I don't want to hear it in the comments. <laughs> Definitely going to be fixing that D. For sure. But yeah, guys, as far as other stuff with me, this uh, semester has been my lightest scheduled one of all, just because, well, for one, these are all the classes that I have left to take that I need to for my degree, and also to uh, help me with job hunting, which is the uh, most important thing that a college senior needs. And I've had some interviews that I thought went well, but, you know, I got rejected at the end of it. And I also have a couple of other leads as well. Once I graduate, I'll be given a job hunting visa like I did the, uh, the first time I graduated, my associates. So I'll have up to a year to find employment here in Japan with a bachelor's. Like I said before, I don't think it's going to be as much of an issue as it was with an associates. The plan is to ideally have a job lined up before I graduate. And if not, just uh, stay here on the job hunting visa until I find some gainful employment and uh, just go from there, transfer to work visa. It might take a little bit to uh, find some jobs because, you know, also in Japan, depending on the fields that you're in, uh, there's also a lot of seasonal hiring. And a lot of that has kind of come and gone because they usually hire during the springtime and I'll be graduating in August. So it'll be a little bit of time before uh, spring hires once again. In preparation of that, I've been really getting myself ready to up my freelance game. And by doing that, I've gotten, you know, some new equipment over the past few months. You know, you notice the, the new microphone. And I've also gotten uh, a couple new lenses as well, including the one that I'm filming this video on, which is the Sony 20mm f1.8, also known as the YouTuber lens. And I've really been enjoying the quality of this lens, obviously for filming, but also for taking pictures as well. Instagram.com slash Andy Japandi. You guys can check that out. Really been enjoying playing with the uh, extreme shallow depth of field. And as far as um, other stuff in the personal life, you know, what else have I been doing? With this semester, since my workload isn't as high as it used to be, I've also been taking a lot of time out to uh, just enjoy myself. You know, for the past couple of years, I just been nose to the grindstone. Just, you know, it's always been about get the, get the grades up, get out to Japan, get the diploma, then carry on. You know, it's just been, you know, constant with that. Or, you know, when it comes to freelancing work, you know, just getting more gigs, you know, getting higher paid gigs, you know, just always moving forward. That was often at the sacrifice of personal free time. I had to uh, get all that stuff lined up and still maintain a good GPA and all this other stuff. It definitely took a toll on me. And I think you guys could definitely see it. I can see it in uh, my YouTube videos where you know I'm just not really going out as much. I mean, I'm just a potto Andy at this point. You know, with go going out more, touching grass, hanging out with friends, um, even if I don't film it, you know, it's always good to just uh, hang out with other people. And in the meantime, I'm also going to be working on uh, some more Japan stuff, especially as weather's heating up. I think we're, you know, knock on wood, but uh, I think we're uh, past the uh, the rainy part of summer. 
and we're heading right into the uh, the muggy days of summer, which is uh, good and bad, of course. But uh, point being is that I'll be outside a lot more doing filming, um, going to the beach, stuff like that. So I really want to showcase Japan a lot more. And also as the country is opening up, I think it officially opened to uh, tourist groups on June 10th, so about 10 days ago. Uh, but it's just guided tours. It's basically Disneyland presents Japan. And domestically, they're also starting up festivals again, which is really good. Really wanted to get out there and uh, film some festivals as well. Go to different spots, stuff like that. And not feel all weird because I'm outside. It's uh, taken about two, two and a half years for me to get comfortable being outside in Japan once again. You know, obviously with the whole situation, you know, it just felt weird to me to be uh, gallivanting around Japan and uh, filming stuff, especially since nobody could really get into the country. It just seemed kind of weird for me to, to do it. But now that stuff's starting to, to chill out a bit, you know, I feel a lot more comfortable doing it. And plus, you know, with also with uh, school wrapping up, I'm going to have a lot more free time as well to uh, work on bigger projects, more projects, more videos, and uh, here's some many more. So, with that said, guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.